Hey guys, and welcome back to the Callisto Protocol. In the last episode, we found Danny after going through some very gooey, sticky, disgusting tunnels full of these bloater style explodey guys. But we've decided that uh, it might be a better idea for us to stick together. Now, sticking together in this game basically means we're going to go do all the work, and Danny is going to uh, pretend to fix the snowcat. Without actually doing anything, apparently. But she has given us a shotgun. So I guess we can't be too mad at her. Let's go. Now, I like the way we seal the weapons on our body. It's kind of cool. So if we grab the shot, The shotgun kind of comes from the holster in our... Yeah, so that's where that comes from. So where, if we switch weapons, so let's switch to the other attachment. Alright, I don't know where the second attachment comes from, but that's cool. At least we see the main weapons on us anyway. Right, so let's go and have a little look up here. She was busy, admittedly. Now, has she reground all these corpses? Uh, I guess she's already got the loot for herself. She must have a lot of loot, to be fair, because she's got so much she's managed to give us a weapon. So, bless her for that, I guess. Got some nice ammo and some shotgun shells. Yum, yum. Well, of course it does. You didn't think it was going to be that easy now, did you, Jacob? Seriously. Some nice plants around here. Oh, hello. <laughs> Lieutenant Devon Wayne. Hello, Devon Wayne. Not great. Ferris trapped everyone on the other side. Hmm. Kind of not that surprised, to be honest. Damn it. Looks like there's another control room across the way. We'll need to activate both to open the gate. Yeah, well, this way is already clear and safe, so we'll go and do all the hard work. Right, let's have a little look. We've got a decent amount of creds, actually. We don't need all these healing items. Definitely not. Probably just keep two of those on us. That gives us a decent amount of cash to play with. Now we could get the boom, uh, well we could get the boom bullets, but now the trouble with the alt fire on these weapons is it consumes an insane amount of ammo to the point where it's very difficult to justify. So, mm, recharge speed max, it's not quite in our ability to get that to be honest. That's not bad. Stability upgrade. Yeah, let's get our shotgun upgraded. Because we're going to be leaning quite heavily on this. Man, I want one of these 3D printers for my nerd room. Definitely need this shotgun to be the best it can possibly be. So we got a little bit more power. We got a stability upgrade. That we also want in the high capacity magazine because as standard it holds four shells. 
but I think if we upgrade it, it holds eight. And you need that. And one second, guys. Okay, we had a bit of a recording glitch there, but I think we're okay now. Um, right, so we have, you know what, we're going to sell another one of these just because I have a feeling we're going to find one of these very, very soon. All right, let's continue. Yeah, not sure where we got to in the recording. Uh, I think it was about here. Uh, I'll have to watch it back, I guess. Yeah, OBS was being strange. Anyway, let's get out of here. We've got our nice, meaty, juicy shotgun, and I have coffee. So, what I'm trying to say, guys, is all is right with the world once again. Oh, God. Back out into the cold, harsh environment. And we're off to the Gatehouse Power Station. All right. It doesn't seem like it would be that far away. In fact, it would probably be a whole lot closer. If there wasn't uh, all this stuff in the way. But hey ho, can't be helped. Oh, it sounds fantastic with this headphone. These headphones. Oh my god. All right, let's go. Well, this place looks like it's seen better times. All these prisoner cages. It's probably not the best thing that we could uh, bump into right now. Still, there's probably worse things we could bump into as well. But we're not going to think about that. We're going to err on the positive side. Because we're a very positive individual. And that is the oldest trick in the book. There we go. Ugh, riot gun ammo. Don't mind if we do. Nice try, my pedigree chum. Remember what I said about uh, expect every horror trope you can think of? Yeah, we're pretty covered in gore now. Yum, yum, yum. Okay. Let's keep moving. Prisoner? That's the access horse. It's like prisoner something. Prisoner transfer? Oh, great. Hello there, brother. Having a bad time in that cage, aren't you? Well, unfortunately, there's not a lot we can do. We can't help this guy. Sadly, we can't even help him with the old uh, shotgun. Shotgun therapy is generally the best thing that could happen to these guys. But uh, unfortunately, his fate is sealed in that cage. I don't know why the animation skipped out there. That was odd. But we're not going to worry about such things. We've got a job to do. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? Some credits. Some more credits. Not a great amount of credits either. But that's fine. Alright, now we're back in business. This guy is getting really upset in his cage. I'm sorry, brother. I wish there was something we could do. But there isn't. I would love to come over there and put a slug in your brain. But sadly, you're just going to have to make do. Until a better man than I comes along. Hmm. 
Well, this looks like an arena, doesn't it? Turbine grinder. Okay. Why is there a turbine grinder? And what is a turbine grinder? Seems like a very unusual thing to have just laying around. Turbine grinder. Turbine grinder. ID check, mask, and a suit. Well, if you fall into that, I don't think a suit's going to help you. Although, it looks like it helped this guy. I mean, I can kind of understand what these fans are. These obviously move oxygen around, which is good because, you know, we breathe that. But, again, there's no safety precautions here at all. As we can see by this unfortunate soul. I don't know how this chap got in there. And I don't know how the weight of his body is uh, strong enough to hold that turbine shut either. Or to stop it from moving. Very interesting stuff happening here on this moon. Sounds like something's jammed in that turbine. What, you mean like the man? The body? That? Yeah, maybe. Jackass. You try to be smart with me, Jacob. Oh. There he goes. Aaron Takio. Well, unfortunately for us, that kicks off a bit of a shindig. Alright, let's get you guys out of here. Because the last thing I need really ooh, is you guys pissing on my parade, to be honest. You're done. Who's next? Oh, hello. That's fine. Ran out of power at the wrong moment there. Ooh, where did you come from? I think we're good. We're definitely good. Yeah, this riot gun. Health injector. This riot gun definitely kicks an ass or two. You want to be careful because you can fall into those. And uh, it's not as pretty as it sounds, to be honest. Now, what's interesting, if you die in this room, don't ask me how I know. A friend told me. Yes, that'll do. If you die in this room, what's really confusing is you'll get a checkpoint in that room up there. So, that's really confusing. You know, I'm just saying, like, if you maybe, hypothetically, walk into a turbine. I'm not saying that I have done that, of course, you understand. But if you do... You will appear through here. I made it to the second control room. Ready when you are. Took me long enough. How dare young lady you have an attitude problem. You really do. And I don't like it. Right, so we've got a thing there. A printer. Okay. The choice is yours. Kind of. Do we want to sell some of this ammo? I mean, probably not. I don't know. We, we like ammo. We'll hold on to it for now. On three, two, one. Hmm. Yeah. You better bring that snow cat around. Or me and you are going to fall out. Even more than we already have. Just saying. Better not be leaving me here. Uh, 
You're a little bit pretentious there, aren't you, fella? He's very pretend pretentious. What I was always meant to be, apparently, is some kind of biophage ass kicker. And so far, we're fitting that role. No, 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 no. I don't see any problems here, Jacob. This looks like a smashing good time to me. Now we're going to smash and break every one of these guys. How did all these guys get here? Like, they must have frozen pretty quickly. Come on. Let's do this. It's kind of funny to see this graphics card get knocked down to like 50 frames a second. Whoop! Ridiculous. Okay, we good? Stop having your little temper tantrum. Okay. Okay, he just like disappeared. That's fine. It happens. We're about disappearing people all the time. So I guess it can't be that uncommon. Whoop! Whoop! Lovely. How'd you like that? You like that? Yeah, you like that. Okay. I mean, we are kind of doing the Lord's work here. Cleaning these guys out one at a time. Who else is going to do it? Ferris. Don't think Ferris has the interest. Come on, you. Let's be having ya. Nice, nice. And smack, and twist, and kick, and punch. I mean, the combat's kind of satisfying in this game. I think the problem with the melee combat is there's just too much of it. It really does kind of drag on more than it should. Definitely hard to argue that. Okay. Oh, got a live one. Nice try, brother. Can you not see? I'm trying to help you. These guys never understand that fact. We're doing them a favor. And you. I am the cure to what ails you. Honestly. Just let it happen. It'll all be easier. I was wondering when you was going to show you up. If ever. Yeah, don't worry. I shall hop in when I'm good and ready. Oh, had to be one more, didn't there? Had to be one more. Come on. Come on. That's it. Yeah, that's right. There we go. Ooh. You didn't like that, did you? Alright. Yes, 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 yes. Ooh. Oh, there is somebody coming. Who? Oh, hey. I'm sorry. Did I leave you all alone? How rude. Didn't mean to, old chap. That was awful of me. Thanks for the shells. Which I do appreciate, by the way. 
we will be moving. All right, I think I've cleared this area out. <laughs> More souls given to the Empire. She's not super friendly to start off with. That. Hey, hangers the other way. I know. Well, then, where are you going? Huh? I'll be back. What? Yeah, well. Hey, Danny, what are we doing here? Gotta see it with my own eyes. Uh, gotta see what, Danny? The fact that you inadvertently killed my best friend? Danny. Or my partner, at least. Going. Not sure if he was actually my best friend. But for dramatic effect, let's pretend that's the case. Ugh. Yep. That was his seat. He was born in that seat. Danny? Danny, where are you? This is the bed where we spent all of our time together. Reminiscing about old loves and stuff and junk. Space stuff, probably. More ammo. Or oh, mate, maybe wait, maybe this was his bed. Yeah, this was this was his room. To dad. Me cat. Poor Max. Max's family. Uh Where's Max? There. Co-pilot of the cargo ship, UJC Charlton. Known associates include Jacob Lee, business partner, and Kyra Barry White, life partner. <gasps> Current on all visas and patrolled uh, zone clearances. No disciplinary actions on file. So he was a straight shooter. An honest-to-God nice man who died a horrible death. And, uh, I guess, Kyra, well, daddy ain't coming home. Kyra, it's Max. I need your advice. Did you see the footage? This poor kid. I keep trying to talk about it with Jacob. It's like he won't listen. Come on, cargo's loaded. Final check. Look, this can't all be a coincidence. Yeah, this can't all be a coincidence. What we're transporting. Maybe we're involved with something. Maybe we are. Hey, our toilet's actually clean as well. Which is kind of interesting. Oh, God. Hey, uh, Danny? Uh, this is where we, like, first met. So that's the thing, huh? Oh, there she is. Being passionate with a box by the look of things. I don't know if there's any goodies in here. Wouldn't be surprised if there's something here. I mean, it's kind of a big cargo area. 
Really? You would have thought they would have put some loot or something here. I guess not. Just a handful of credits. Ooh. I am disappointed. Hey. What are you doing? What's in here? Uh, medical supplies? Bullshit. Open it. Why? Because I said so. We're not going anywhere until you do. <laughs> okay, fine. <sighs> yep, just like I told you. But records show you made multiple drops right before the incident. Yeah, me and a dozen other cargo ships. Don't try to talk your way out of this. I know you were a I had nothing to do with what happened on your <laughs> own. She's a right little bossy boots. Crazy spiracies involving us and doing bad things. So what were you expecting to find? UGC bioweapon. Traced it from Europa to here. To my ship? I thought so. Well, we're definitely not involved in anything that we know. Oof. These frozen biophages. Nasty stuff. Control room's just up ahead. Get ready. <laughs> I'm always ready. Now, from what I can remember, there's some good stuff in here. Decoder. What else we got? What else we got? Can't just be the decoder. Hmm. So maybe it is. Oh, hello, friend. Sergeant Scott. Great Scott. Sergeant Scott. What'd you do? I don't know. My clearance should work, but I'm locked out of the system. No, wait! I'm the ship commander! Lethal force has been authorized. Override! We're guards! Override! Well, that doesn't sound great. Doesn't sound great. I want to take this one out of here because most of the times when I break this crate whatever's inside just disappears yep um, is that crate really bugged because this is third times a charm you can see the item there but there's no way of picking it up looks like it's only a handful of credits anyway but yeah, that's been a problem since this game first launched. At least for me, anyway. Alright, well, whatever. Let's go. Hello. Excellent. Sweet. Well, I like what you've done with the place. All right, come on, Danny. Let's keep going. Hey, back there. Why did you do that to Elias? I was in a hurry. Didn't have time to transfer the data. 
I need to know everything I can about what's happening here. But you just ripped it out. Like you haven't done the thing. Not to somebody I know. Did you really know him? Or were you just using him to escape? <sighs> She's got a point. You know? This isn't Resident Evil 2. We don't just fall in love and become best friends overnight. And with that, guys. Yeah, that's where we took off from. Yeah. I know. And with that, guys, I'm going to leave this one here. So, thank you very much for watching. When we come back, I guess we're getting out of here. Can't wait. <laughs> Till then, guys.